Guys, people who own electric cars and have driven them so far that they're out of warranty or they've done hundreds of thousands of miles or they've just driven out over the 100,000 mile or 160,000 kilometer warranty for most EVs and had a problem with the battery pack, does happen sometimes, are making a big mistake in my opinion. A big mistake and I don't understand why this is still happening. Hello my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. Welcome to the new subscribers. Great to have you. Welcome back, everyone else. All right, I just made a few videos on some of the longest mileage Tesla EVs in the world. There's a few that have done more than a million miles, but I didn't really talk about those because they've had a couple of battery pack replacements. I focused on the EVs that have done the most range on the original battery pack. Some of those have done over well over 400,000 miles on the same original battery pack. That's on old EVs, by the way. Newer ones will last even longer from what I'm seeing from taxis in China using lithium ion phosphate battery cells. However, there are still issues. You can still have a battery have a problem. But keep in mind, when a battery has a problem, that doesn't mean your battery pack should be just thrown away. That is insanely stupid because think about it this way. If you simply took an, took your battery pack out of your car and just crunched the battery up, that would be called black mass. Black mass is worth 10,000 US dollars per ton. So if someone tells you, oh, don't worry, mate, I'll take your old battery off you. I'll get rid of it for you. They're scamming you. They're taking you for a freaking ride. They're trying to take steal money from you because your reused battery pack, whether it's... Um, done a million kilometers or whether it's done 200,000, it's still worth a hell of a lot of money. But if it has a problem, that doesn't mean you should throw it away. You might be thinking, well, yeah, I've got to get a new battery pack and everyone says it's so expensive. It's not what you should be doing. The first thing you should do is something entirely different. And that's certainly not recycling it. Market growth for electric vehicles continues to accelerate as companies are improving battery technology and public recharging infrastructure and overcoming barriers to purchase, such as high prices. EVs have come down in price by 24% worldwide over the past 12 months. Surging EV sales are testimony to this fact. During the first half of 2022, sales of EVs and plug-in hybrid electric vehicles stood at 4.3 million, up 62% against the first half of 2021. For the full year 2022, EV sales reached over 8 million. Plug-in hybrids were more than 2.6 million. This year, those figures will be blown out of the water completely. EV sales are up a further 50% worldwide this year. Growth of EVs is actually very, very, very fast beyond experts' expectations. That's in spite of the, what the media are telling you, which is baloney. The growing EV adoption has gradually dispelled consumers' concerns about their range, their price, and their reliability. Many consumers, however, are unaware of post-purchase service scenarios, right? Especially those related to batteries. The battery is the most expensive part of an EV. It's failure or gradual decay, which is actually much more gradual than you would believe in most EVs, can make repairing a working EV with many potential years of life possibly uneconomical, depending on the car and the battery. Though battery failures are rare, lost capacity consequence, consequently leading to range drop is the most likely possible event foreseen in the battery repair service ecosystem. Now, some EVs such as the Nissan Leaf yeah, if you buy a Nissan Leaf, you may have to change that battery. A new one, probably not, but older ones with poor battery management software and the inability to really regulate their temperatures when it gets too hot means that they degrade faster. OEMs are offering protracted battery warranties, typically eight years and around 160,000 kilometers or 100,000 miles, whichever comes first. However, whilst batteries are covered by OEM warranties, Throwing away battery packs that are no longer fit for purpose represents a failure of any sustainable technology. And this just isn't being done. The media is saying that it is, but it is not. A battery pack is extremely valuable. The metals are worth a lot of money, as I explained earlier. Now, 
It would damage consumer confidence and raise questions about the eco-friendliness of EVs if people were to believe in this myth that battery packs are just ruining the environment because once they're used, they just get thrown into the trash because they're not, it's not happening. They're getting recycled or reused in energy storage. However, EV batteries are expensive. That's true, that's not a myth. Whilst they're expensive, whilst they've come down in price by around 89% over the past 10 years, they're still pretty pricey. And they contain raw earth materials now, after the warranty period ends, automakers are addressing the post-warranty scenario and putting systems in place to repair, service, and remanufacture batteries. According to an EV report, new batteries currently cost around US $200 per usable kilowatt hour, with the battery accounting for more than 50% of the cost of EV. Now, that's not actually true. The truth is, the battery cost is approximately 35 to 40% of the cost of an EV. So not, 50, not over 50%. That's a myth, but it's still a lot of the purchase price. Second life batteries repurposed from EVs could slash that cost to US $45 per usable kilowatt hour. Now that's the future of the EV industry, repurposed batteries. I mean, for example, vehicles get involved in a crash. Very often the battery pack is completely fine. It can be reused. Now, as you can see here, the battery life cycle has a lot of elements to it and batteries are not just thrown out you can use the materials in a battery endlessly once we've mined the lithium that's needed um, you can continue to use that lithium for the next billion years in however many battery packs we may need or use over the next billion years however there are emerging models to tackle ev service and repair needs in order to make this simpler and easier for you so if your battery has a problem you don't want to just go and replace it straight away that's not the smartest thing to do now, Volkswagen and Tesla have tried to address, address the issue of EV repairs. As of 2020, Volkswagen Germany had 1,850 service partners qualified to maintain and repair EVs. There's also specific support centers that specialize in battery repair and service. Until 2020, the German service network included 265 such centers and was poised to reach 450 by the end of 2021. Now, some of these service centers will tell you, oh yeah, your battery's, no, 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 it's something wrong with it. You need to replace that battery. Do you think that they're just gonna replace that battery and chuck it out and then charge you the price for a new battery? No, they're not. They're gonna make whatever money they can out of reselling. They're probably gonna fix your battery pack and resell it. And that means you will lose out. That's a common scam. And it is a scam. I mean, realistically, think about it. If you can repair a battery, why would you replace it? Generally, when a battery fails, it's only one minor part. It could be a single cell. It's easy to fix if you know what you're doing. But the key is knowing what you're doing. Tesla is following a franchise-based model where it partners with garages with capabilities to service the TVs. Gruber Motors has partnered with the company to provide battery repair services, for example. But a lot of these service centers don't know how to fix a battery. And so they'll give you the wrong information. They'll say, yeah, you need a new battery, mate. Not actually true most of the time. Since EVs are still in the growth stage, automakers have, well, themselves often not a lot of interest in actually finding you a solution. So finding you a solution to repair your battery, and they'll just say it needs to be replaced. Uh, here's, pay us 10,000 or 15,000, whatever it is, depending on the car, depending on the size of the battery pack, depending on the model of battery chemistry, they'll say, just replace the battery if there's something wrong with your battery. But actually, most of the time, you shouldn't do that. Now, this is not necessarily a failure on these companies, and I don't think it's really intentional. I mean, it took nearly 100 years to establish a robust service and repair net ecosystem for conventional internal combustion engine vehicles. I mean, it's going to take a while before dealerships will have an understanding of what, it, what is needed to repair your battery and really have the tools and the ability and the expertise to do this. But there are garages in North America, Australia, Europe, and well, many places around the world, there's a really good one in Croatia, by the way, that services a lot of European EVs, where they can just repair your battery. Now, depending on where you live, there'll be a different uh, service or battery center that can suit your needs. But 
I can guarantee you that in every major continent on Earth, there is a battery place or a place where they will fix your EV battery. Most of the time, batteries are fixable. Occasionally, they're not, and they'll tell you that at the time. But I would say 95% of the time, your battery is fixable. So get it repaired. Don't just take your manufacturer's word for it that it needs to be replaced or your service center's word for it. They don't know what they're talking about. EVs are a relatively new thing to them. First, if your warranty has expired, don't take it necessarily to a service center, but you could take it there and get their opinion, but you want a second opinion. Go to a qualified battery service center and get them to fix it because most of the time you can. not Now, on the rare occasion that you can't, you want to make sure you get well, you basically well compensated for your battery pack because even though some of it doesn't work, the, re the truth is the majority of your cells in your pack will still be fine to use. And you can see on eBay that hundreds of thousands of Tesla battery cells have been sold for quite a bit of money. So even though your battery may, may not be useful to you, it will definitely be useful to other people who will be able to use those individual cell modules. A lot of people use them, a lot of people buy them. So make sure you don't just give away your pack for nothing. It's still worth a lot of money. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Thank you for watching.